Hello everybody, you youthk 92 here for the raw review for November 9th, 2015. 2K16 in the background. I'm playing the whole new day, trying to take down the boy John Cena. Big match John. Enjoy that while I talk about this raw action. So Raw starts off with Triple H and he explains how Seth injured his knee. As you all know, Seth is injured. I I the sadness that flows through me as Seth Rollins being like my favorite wrestler right now. Awful. He's still the fucking man to me, damn it. So, Triple H explains how there will be a new tournament to crown the WWE champion. Sucks to not have Seth. England starts chanting for Triple H, which is super weird. And then they start chanting, thank you, Rollins, which made me pretty happy. I'm like, thank you for at least respecting like, this guy, you know. As much as people want to hate on him say he was boring or he sucks at promos. Like, he was the main deal of Raw. He carried that fucking company, so... Seth Rollins is the fucking man, that's all I gotta say. Uh, Roman Reigns comes out, Triple H says that it's unfair that Roman has to start over. Then uh, makes Reigns an offer to join the authority, says he can like make this all easier on himself. Triple H says Roman was the first choice they were actually going to make, but then Seth had, you know, the killer instinct, which Roman didn't have, which I found pretty cool. Amazing promo by Triple H. Like, people can hate on Triple H all he wants to, but this guy is still one of the best people on promos. He's definitely one of my favorites still. My favorite wrestler of all time. So, Triple H puts the WWE title on Roman's shoulder and says, doesn't that look good? You could do it for your family and all that stuff. Roman, actually with pretty good facial expressions on this promo. Roman says he's not going to sell out. Tells Triple H to shove his offer up his ass. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I really do hope they go with the Roman or Dean Ambrose heel turn. I'm expecting one of those to happen. So, I want that to happen soon. So, First match is Big Show versus Roman Reigns. This is the first tournament match. Big Show dominating the match. Uh, Kurt starts chanting, you fat bastard. I, I am dying alive. That's a pretty funny chant. For, especially from the England crowd. You would expect that because that's their type of humor. Um... Uh, Big Show dominating, Roman Reigns hits the Superman punch, hits the spear, gets a quick win on the Big Show, and I'm like, oh my god, this rivalry that they had, and Roman now beats him so fucking easy, that was pretty funny, Roman advances, then we have Kevin Owens versus Titus O'Neil, which is a fresh match, uh, pretty good spotlight for Titus, I guess, but it was a short match, tournament match once again, good trash talking by Owens, you know, as always, Owens wins the match for Pop Pop Power Bomb, a very impressive one. Takes JBL's hat and points at the title. People go nuts. Like Kevin Owens is over, and everyone would love to see him as double champion. He would be the perfect authority champion, especially him and Triple H already have that connection. And him and Triple H cool like that. So Becky Lynch versus Paige. Uh, Paige with a backstage promo saying how she's gonna beat Little Baby Flair. I, I actually love that nickname for Charlotte. I, I keep calling her that myself now, little baby flair. <laughs> so, Paige controlling the match. Uh, doing her heel stick. You know, this is her house. Uh, Becky Lynch with some quick suplexes. Very nice looking suplexes as always. Paige hits the rampage on Becky, but Becky is way close to the rope. Becky grabs the rope. Paige going for the PTO. Pecky grab Becky. Pecky. Pecky Lynch, her twin sister that is forgotten about in this United States of America. So, uh, Becky Lynch grabs the rope again. So, basically, the rope is Becky Lynch's greatest best friend, not Charlotte. Pa uh, Paige rolls up Becky, tries to do it by uh, pulling the tights. But then Becky reverses it and grabs Paige's tights and actually gets the win, which I'm very happy about that. I, I said Becky Lynch needs some spotlight up in here. That was at least pretty cool. Like she said, Jesus said, fuck it. Uh, Paige goes nuts, destroying Becky Lynch, locks in the PTO on the top of the announce table. Charlotte comes out for the save, you know, they're a little baby flare. <laughs> little baby flare's not having any of it, brother. <laughs> then we have Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz, another tournament match. Miz working the leg, for, going for that figure four. Ziggler, se Ziggler's selling of, like, body parts have been fucking amazing. Like, he lived the whole match. He hits clotheslines with the other arm, like, you know, like, he hops for his clotheslines. Uh, Miz locks in the figure four, gets all the damage. Ziggler's still selling, hits a super kick with his other leg, which I found that to be an amazing detail, because I'm like, who would think of that? 
Ziggler wins. Again, Ziggler has been doing great all these weeks on his selling ability. Like, not just even move selling, just body parts selling. I'm really, I'm really a big fan of Ziggler this past few weeks and months. The Rio and Zeb Coulter come out to talk about Max America and this whole thing, which we know is ending up to Zeb turning on him and joining up with Jack Swagger. Or someone new, actually. He could bust out like Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. That's how much more American does that get? So, Natalia versus Naomi. Uh, Sasha Banks is playing up the heel stick big time. We want Sasha Chance all around. Sasha attacks Natalia and throws her up against the post, and the ref is not watching. Natalia wins with a roll up. I mean, this is the roll up raw. Uh, Sasha attacks Natalia again after the match. Natalia locks in the sharpshooter, but then Team Bad basically jumps Natalia. They all get in and they all beat the crap out of her. So I guess we're going to have. I don't know what happened to Natalia and Paige. I guess we're having Natalia and Sasha, maybe? And they're teasing something between Team Bad. I don't know if it's the right time to break them up, even though I would love to see Sasha on her own. Because she just works so much better on her own. So Sorrow vs. Sheamus tournament match. I was actually looking forward to this match because I really do like the chemistry between Sheamus and Sorrow. So uh, Sheamus controlling the match. A uh, sixth spot that actually looked pretty gross is when um, Cesaro tried to suplex Sheamus on the outside and he actually did it. But Sheamus landed on Cesaro's arm as they were both falling out the ring. This was a very dangerous spot. It looked really bad but like in a good way. Uh, a really good spot, too, is, uh, Cesaro goes for a springboard uppercut. Sheamus catches him, then switches him into the white noise for a near fall. That was a really nice spot by Sheamus. Uh, Cesaro with a thick counter. Sheamus goes for the bro kick, and as soon as he's about to kick him, Cesaro grabs his kick in midair, somehow gets his leg in between his, locks in the sharpshooter, then puts him down, like, in perfect position for the sharpshooter. That was awesome. I like how he's doing all these weird Tyson kid spots like how Tyson kick can lock in the sharpshooter from anywhere same thing with Natalia uppercut battle you know Cesaro takes advantage Cesaro's uppercuts are over Cesaro's over he uppercuts Sheamus on the outside like good stuff by Cesaro like this guy should just be the fucking champ right now as I said Cesaro is probably the best wrestler in the company today even with the even with Seth Rollins was there and all that stuff I still said that lost in the woods uh, Sheamus distract, well, Sheamus distracted by Barrett on the outside. Cesaro wins with his creepy roll-up that I don't understand, but I love that move. It's actually super weird and looks super cool. So, yeah, then we have Dean Ambrose versus the debuting match, Tyler Breeze. This is Tyler Breeze's first match on Raw, and they put him in there with Dean Ambrose. At first, I'm like, fucking hell, they're gonna have Dean Ambrose run a fucking train on Tyler Breeze. He's gonna, like, destroy him like nothing. And it, but it's a tournament match, so I guess that's pretty cool. Awesome promo by Tyler Breeze before the match even starts backstage with Renee Young. Tells Renee, you know, back up, don't get too close. Uh, Dean Ambrose starts going nuts in the beginning, does his suicide dive, then takes Tyler Breeze's pose on the outside, you know. I guess Dean Ambrose has been watching a lot of Japanese wrestling. Breeze is actually looking pretty good the whole match. He's not being a pussy, he's not running away. He's taking it to Ambrose, actually. Felt like he belongs. Like, I blinked and I'm like, oh, fucking, you can't even notice this guy just debuted or he's from NXT. He feels perfect, dude. Oh, it's just the midnight hour. <laughs> Supermodel kick, which I'm very pissed because the commentators don't even fucking call it. They're just like, oh, what a kick. I'm like, no, it's a fucking supermodel kick. Get his shit over. Ambrose with a top rope drop kick. Lands bad on his shoulder. Again, this is all part of the plan. Uh, Bree starts destroying Dean. Like, I love that they did this because, thank God, they left Breeze's gimmick that he's a shark. Like, he's, like, all playing around, but when he sees injury, he will take advantage and destroy somebody. Breeze rams Dambrose to the post, to post, to post. Breeze's mean streak is still attacked. And then Ambrose gets the quickest roll-up ever, gets the win, but, again, do not mind. I wish Breeze could have won, but there is no way. You know, the story here is Ambrose and Reigns meeting up in the finals, hopefully, or something like that. But Breeze looked good. Ambrose got super lucky. Breeze is even looking at him like, oh, you bitch, you got lucky. Awesome, awesomeness. I really like that because it did not make Breeze look like a pussy at all, which was my biggest fear. They need to keep Breeze fighting these, like, main event people. Maybe he could get a couple wins now. 
Like, I would have liked Breeze to fight Ambrose maybe in the second round. Because then he could at least gotten a win. But that's okay. At least Breeze looked really good. The New Day, the whole three three members of the New Day. The Uso versus the Usos and Neville. New Day coming out with their usual funny stick. Uh, saying Harry Potter sucks. Shots fired. The crowd booed. I was like, yo, everyone loves Harry Potter. You don't insult that shit. Uh, New Day, the most overact on the show. Like, they got the most cheers. They got the most boos. They are over as fuck. Neville hits the hot tag, looking amazing. Like, Neville looks so fucking motivated in this match. He, like, he was doing some sick backflips and shit. Hits a cork, corkscrew splash on the outside to everybody. That was pretty awesome. Uh, Xavier Woods gets the win, though. When Big E trips Neville, he was about to end it with the red arrow, but then uh, he trips Neville. Neville falls, and uh, Xavier Woods gets the win, which is pretty cool. I like that. Then we have the main event segment. It is Bray Wyatt paying tribute to The Undertaker and Kane saying how they're dead. Says, like, I like this line that he said. Like, he says the, the torch wasn't passed. He took the torch and burned The Undertaker and Kane. I thought that was an amazing line. Because, like, yeah, fuck that shit. You didn't have no torch pass. You took that shit. Uh, a video showing Undertaker and Kane destroying everybody plays. And then... Thunder hits the ring, fire hits the ring, thunder hits the ramp, thunder hits the ramp, and all that stuff. Undertaker themes play, Undertaker and Kane both come out very slowly to destroy Bray Wyatt. Bray, uh, Bray Wyatt brings out the bullies, he brings out the whole family to take down. Uh, Undertaker and Kane dispose of uh, Hoppa, Luke Hoppa the boy, and uh, Eric Rowan quick. Strowman is being still hyped up, which I really like. Strowman comes in, takes them both down with double clotheslines. Says how he's the fucking man, and I'm like, yo, Strowman looking good. And then, uh, they no-sell it. They both do their, you know, their kick-up thing where they get up like that. They take out Strowman. They go to the outside. They push him on the announce table. I thought they were going to push the table into him, and so did the crowd because they were chanting, push the table. Then they go after Bray Wyatt, they beat the crap out of him, double choke slam to Bray, and that is how this Raw ends. Again, pretty entertaining Raw. I liked some of the new matches that they did. Like, even seeing, like, Kevin Owens and Titus O'Neil was pretty fun. I really like that. Uh, good stuff. I hope they I hope they keep up the good tournament stuff. There's some tournament fights going up on SmackDown, which, uh, spoiler alert, I think uh, it was Neville versus Barrett. And Neville won, which made me happy. It was also Kalisto versus Ryback. And Kalisto is moving on to the next round. And then we had Del Rio. Roberto Del Rio fighting Stardust. Del Rio beat Stardust. So it's going to be those three guys moving on. The tournament's looking really good. Uh, even like, like they actually made me hype for SmackDown. Putting some tournament matches in there. Uh, they, they did piss me off. Uh, Raw Review pretty much done but like I did want to talk about they kind of pissed me off how they're making Cesaro versus Roman Reigns this big fucking deal like I really hope Cesaro can at least kick out of a spear or something or like he goes for the Superman punch and he catches him with the flying uppercut like I really hope they don't make Cesaro look like a fucking jobber because this guy is literally going to be big if they do their cards right that's pretty much all I have to say. Catch you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay as John Cena kicks out of every fucking finish I gave him. I gave him everyone's finish. I gave him two tag team finishers and the fucker kicked out of everything. That's the show. It's on Legend. So that's to show you how tough John Cena is even in this game on Legend. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Enjoy. New Day Rocks. here oh no here we go Big E sees it Big E hit that one he sees it we know what's coming here Big E looking at this right here with the big ending there it is the the shoulders are down. Two. Can you touch them? So he did it. What a huge win. I can't believe what we
we saw during this one. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight. One in a million is the only way to describe this match. can pick out highlights from that match the whole match was highlights here are your winners big e kofi kingston and xavier woods the new the shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Thank you again for joining us tonight as we come to you live from historic